Hello everyone. Welcome to the LeverX webinar series, a free educational service offered to SAP customers to inform and demonstrate SAP functionality and industry best practices to improve your business performance. Our webinar today is entitled SAP Portfolio and Project Management for S4HANA, the new digital landscape. In today's webinar, you will learn how the new Portfolio and Project Management for S4HANA delivers Fiori role-based interactivity with a seamless integration to real-time finance, resources, and analytics. My name is Alan Mendel, Vice President LeverX, and I will be the moderator for today's webinar. Before we begin our topic, let me briefly introduce you to LeverX. LeverX helps companies increase business value by leveraging existing investments in SAP solutions. Good. Uh, thanks a lot, uh, Ralph, for inviting me to speak uh, at this uh, webinar. Um, my name is Renato Zato. I'm solution owner for Enterprise Portfolio Project Management. So all uh, project-related solutions at SAP uh, that were PS counts into, but also PPM, Enterprise Project Connection, Innovation Management, and uh, Commercial Project Management. Um, so the goal of um, today's sessions is to uh, provide you an overview of the new um, PPM offering for SAP S4HANA. And uh, for that, I would like to first um, go and uh, introduce uh, the topic of Enterprise Portfolio Project Management, so what it is about. And then actually we'll go into some of the solution capabilities which are inside the PPM tool but also connected to the PPM tool. And then I'll also talk a little bit about the migration paths, especially for existing customers. Um, so when we talk to um, customers about project management, there are mainly three disciplines uh, that uh, customers are seeking to uh, implement. Uh, first of all, the portfolio management is about identifying project needs or project requirements, um, understanding what is the financial demand to do a project, what are the risks associated to that project, uh, what is the benefit for the uh, company, and also do we have the uh, resources available in our organization to do the project. Um, once you actually get this uh, approval for the project and you get the budget assigned, you will hand it over to the project management space or to the project management department where the detailed planning of the project happens, the detailed planning of the work packages um, and milestones, the ribbles and so on. Um, and uh, then you actually start executing, monitoring the execution of the project. The third discipline, the resource management, is about understanding the resource demand uh, on a high level and then actually identifying also the individual resources uh, in your organization and uh, assigning these resources then to the work packages and um, managing actually also the time and the confirmation of uh, task and um, efforts worked on this uh, project. Um, now actually these three disciplines are used uh, in companies to uh, manage a whole range of uh, different project types uh, and uh, actually we see four uh, major types here. Uh, first of all, the managing or developing of uh, new products. Um, uh, Ralph, can, or can you, Ralph, can you see the, um, uh, the Yes, we see screen? your screen. Uh, okay, no, so I don't see the pop-up screen. Okay, so it was just a little bit irritating, but that's fine now. Okay, so uh, it's about actually developing new products um, and enhancing existing products. Uh, so this is mainly relevant for R&D organizations. Uh, we see many customers from the CP industry, from automotive industry, high tech, or um, uh, IMNC industrial machinery. Um, and um, this is all about actually managing uh, new 
innovations, product innovations from the idea um, to the project execution and delivering the project, uh, the product as a finished uh, good. <clears throat> the second, um, sorry, the second uh, category is about IT projects, so all kinds of um, internal projects in the IT organizations. Uh, these are mainly yeah, uh, projects where um, business is requiring an upgrade of a um, business um, system or an installation of a new business application or maybe also uh, bug fixing. Uh, so these uh, IT organizations need a tool to uh, understand what are the business requirements to prioritize these business requirements and then execute the projects according to the business strategy. And the third category is about capital projects. Um, this uh, kind of project we see uh, very often in asset intensive uh, industries like utilities, oil and gas or chemicals. Um, it's about large investments, long-term investments, um, with also long-term um, yeah, commitments, large budgets, um, and these kind of organizations, they need to really um, prepare uh, the decisions for these kind of um, yeah, long-term investments very carefully, and they need to actually uh, understand what are the ongoing projects that they need to um, run to ensure uh, operations and what are additional projects that they can start to, for example, um, add, enter new businesses uh, or um, develop actually the business in maybe uh, new regions and new territories. Great. Uh, can you hear me and see me? Yes, we can hear and see you. Wonderful. Hi, everybody. Dave Cramp, Director of Solutions Services here at LeverX. And uh, we're going to go through, a, you know, just a little more detail on, you know, some of the really exciting things that Renato and his group have, have uh, are delivering in the in the PPM arena for, for us. You know, I'm, I'm really excited about these, this new role-based approach uh, and the simplification for the end users. You know, I'm, I'm a software guy and I love all the user interfaces and the deep functionality, but there's other people who just need that delivered piece of functionality that they can do their job in and they don't want to see anything else. And I understand that as well. So for those people, I think this is going to be a very, very great uh, approach that SAP is taking here amongst some other things. So here I'm going to log in my system as, a, as, as, as a Katie Jacobs. And you know, uh, you come into a, a, a Fiori Launchpad view. So this is this, you know, your ability to go in and look at, um, you know, a, a default set of tiles that you want to look work with, and, and 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 you know, it's very clean, very easy to use, and you can just select any tile. So here I'm going to come up to my My Projects tile. I'm going to select that, and the system will, you know, comes up with you know what what's going on in your world here. So you have your your your, your projects. Your critical projects, upcoming milestones, planned uh, planned projects, active projects, etc. So you know it's a fairly neat uh, user interface. Uh, you can also, and then you know, I, I always like you know, what are you working on recently? You know, what is last used? Because typically most people are doing the same thing over and over again. So have the ability to have the system provide some smarts for you and 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 deliver uh, you know a, a more focused. Uh, piece of information to you is, is a great way of, of working with this. So I, I, I can click on my last use and the system will then pop up, you know, what are the last use projects, you know, uh, and you know, you have the ability then to quickly and see you have a little thumbnail of information here uh, on each of these projects, so you know, it, it gives you a little more information, insight, without having to actually drill into uh, any of these projects. So let's go over here and look at this lentil soup with cookies. And I want to go and, and, and come down here and select my pro project progress. And the system pops up the, the scheduling Gantt chart. You know, so here we can see, you know, where, where are we at? And this is kind of like where Renato was talking about, you know, what are, what are the phases, what are the tasks you in, what is your date, and what are the critical aspects of this? Uh, you can see up here your severities uh, on this project. So you have a task overdue. Your basic recipe creation task is, is late. So what we can do is then open that ta task up and see where we're at, uh, and we can see that 
we're lagging behind. We're only 50% done, and we're almost uh, set up to our due date, and we're late starting the next uh, the next task here.